Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 16th October 2022. My name is T.S.V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar. In this particular vlog, in my previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we gleaned through our study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe, and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular video is no exception to that rule. In fact, it is only a continuation of what we have been doing before. Now, in the past few videos, we have been dis discussing about the seven heavenly and the seven hellish planets. We also know their direct or indirect relationship with the Kundalini and Chakra of a human living entity in this lowest of the heavenly planets, Bhuloka. We also know that the representatives of all other heavenly and hellish planets are in the Bhuloka and they are always in search of people who they can recruit, train, cultivate, nurture, nurse, and select for their own planets. Till now, we have already discussed about the second Bhuva Loka, third Swarga Loka, fourth Mahar Loka planets in the heavenly side. Today, we shall talk about the fifth heavenly planet that is known as Jana Loka. Jana means humanity, population, the human living entities. That is called Jana. Jana Loka means a planet which has been inhabited by humanity. You may be confused because our own Bhuloka is populated by the humans. However, here there is a difference. First of all, the transcendentalists, spiritualists, philosophers and intellectuals of yore feel that this Jana Loka is on a metaphysical level and not on a physical level. That means that even here in this Bhuloka, there may be some persons who are so noble, so wise, and so exalted that they have already realized themselves but have not yet been liberated. Such people 
or to appease such people the destiny has offered them to reside very much in this bhuloka but be a part of the general loka that is great rishis maharishis intellectuals self realized souls etc can be in the general loka though they are present in the bhuloka but in that case such people are not in the physical level they are on a subtle realm either astral or causal preferably causal realm of the subtle world these people are very exhausted souls exalted souls who cannot be compared to the common humanity in fact there is a proverb body present mind absent there are cases where many of these exalted souls move around in the society in a gross body but they are so much involved into themselves their self realization their liberation their godliness etc that they don't care about what is happening in this material world they have already reached the heavenly planet according to some spiritualists however to make matters clear i would like to say that just like other heavenly and hellish planets there are representatives of the jana loka also in this bhuloka and which is on the lookout for such exalted souls albeit in a subtle level probably they are scouring the streets on the causal level to find out or identify such exalted levels uh, souls and to appease them and to make them reside in this particular bhuloka till they get really liberated and they are shifted to the general loka such souls are so exalted and so noble and different that they don't want to be a part of siddha loka pitra loka swarga loka or mahar loka they are very different in every other way that is they are purely devotional saintly and knowledgeable souls who don't want to treat their life as a purpose for god to be used in this material world that is they don't want to take an assignment in favor of god to work in the bhuloka they are single they are independent they have their own identity they are already self realized they want to get revelator and then finally delivered to god head such people are going to inhabit the jana loka which has already been inhabited by four kumaras the small babies who were actually brahma's sons but when brahma created them to increase the population in this bhuloka they were so noble and exalted that they refused to do that and decided to live in this general loka and praise god and meditate on him they are people who have a direct connection with the supreme personality of god head now because these people in the general loka are still in the bhuloka and are in a subtle level 
hence they are connected to the gross body through the kundalini chakra called vishuddhi vishuddhi chakra is the fifth chakra and it is in the throat of a human living entry entity vishuddhi means pure pure speech and pure thought the throat controls the voice of a human living entity not only that the throat is the conduit between the gross body and the head of a human living entity this particular vishuddhi chakra is represented by the ether element and the jana loka is already in the subtle ethel etheric world in the causal side hence the causal world inhabitants of jana loka control this life through the vishuddhi chakra vishuddhi chakra in kundalini is directly or indirectly connected to the exalted souls of the jana loka kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular subject please give me your own priceless opinions thoughts and ideas so that i may keep them with me blend them with my theory and then come up with something which is beneficial to the whole society please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of my other videos till we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv raghavan